Hello, and welcome back to our Final Fantasy X HD Platinum walkthrough. We're on the airship. We're being attacked. What does this mean? What the hell is that? Now there's a rare sight. It's a rare sight. Whoa, that's huge! A dragon with the scar. No, I don't know. What the devil is it? What is that? The guardian worm, Evray. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. Let's go kill it. <laughs> the red card. <laughs> that was me Wait, crushing a bottle because I'm so angry. Yeah. Riku, you read me. We're gonna fight that thing. Loud and clear, Poppy. Get on deck and show him what you got. Show him what you got, girl. There he goes again. <sighs> the ferryman asks a high price. Yes, indeed. So Rin went running over there. That's fine. Now we're gonna go running over there. Oh. Okay, let's. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yes, we want Titus and Riku in our formation at the start because this boss is a little strange. He's a little gimmicky, but don't worry, I'll give you a full and thorough explanation. Open the hatch. We fight. We fight. Every is truly mighty. Be well prepared. They're hyping it up. It's a it's tough, boss. If you're not we familiar it. with its mechanics, if we lose. You'll die too, buddy. It's not that bad. We gotta pay. I have faith Rain is a war profiteer, and that's fine by me. Gee, thanks. I'll get him in the Geneva Convention. Now then, so up we go. We get the old uh, the old HP details ready. I'm dropping things, oh god. No, it's fine. Alright, so obviously, fighting on the airship is going to come into this because it's got cannons. So get ready for that. We gotta keep our distance, boys, but we can't let her get too far away. Y'all have to tell me when to move. So this boss, Every. He's got 32,000 HP. 2,000 HP to overkill him. It's not bad. We can do that. Even without Yunnan or something, we can do that. Okay. So, Titus and Riku can both give commands to move the airship away from or towards the boss. So you move in, pull back. And that's handy. The first thing we're going to do now, if you notice in the active time thing, the seed has turns, and that's when it's actually going to respond. So I'm going to steal, just because I like to steal. Uh, Waka, just going to... I'm going to hit him with some reels, why not? He's got 32,000 health, like I said. So it can take a while to get that down. I might as well lay into him. He has no elemental weakness. In fact, he halves damage from every element, so, you know, might as well just go for it. So, first thing to do is cast haste on Tejas. Cast haste on... well, you can cast slow on every. It might not work every time, keep casting until it does. You want to haste uh, Tejas and Riku. Now Riku can obviously use an Albed Potion to heal. She can also use a Chocobo Feather to haste herself if you don't want to waste one of Titus' turns. Now I'm going to give the order to pull back. Go now back, that Evry is slowed. Because it can use its turn to chase after the ship and just follow you. Which is annoying. But anyway. Now I'm going to bring in Orin so he can get an attack in. Because obviously at range he's He's no use, he can't do anything. Just throw out an attack with Riku, because why not? Uh, I'll hit him with the slice and dice overdrive. Eventually. I don't think it loses any potency for not getting that the first time. But I uh, could be wrong. So 
So this is why I said to buy softs in the last video. If you don't have any, you could be in trouble. But anyway, we're moving back. And now, if Sid gets another turn while Evray is still at a distance, he can fire all the missiles. And as you can see from the ATB, he's going to, which is very nice. But, uh, first thing we do is use a soft. See, without Yuna around, you need those healing items. So that's good. Now I'm finally going to cast haste on... Oh, I had to re renew haste because of that. Uh, because of getting uh, petrified like that. But now I'm going to use a Chocobo Feather. A Striku. Should have done much earlier, to be honest. Now we'll bring out Kimari. Because he can use Lancet from a distance. Uh, he's not going to learn anything from it, but... No. It, it gets him BAP. Unless you get him out of the battle, he's useless. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm just trying to think of something to do to him, to be honest. You can't use items, because he's out of range, which I think is weird, because you'd expect him to throw them. But, uh, you know, obviously there's spells, but he halves damage from all elements. All elements? All elemental damage he halves, so spells aren't great. So now we're just going to bring Waka in, because obviously he can throw the ball. There you go, 2,000 damage. This is Handy. I'm hitting with all we got. This is the benefit of keeping him at a distance. So let's lose a salvo. You can do this up to three times. And you can see the damage is there, it's very real. So now, let's see if he uh, moves in again. I'm gonna haste Waka just to uh, get the damage output up. So now he's gonna use Photon Spray, which keeps him at a distance, which is handy for us. It does very mediocre damage. Like, I wouldn't worry about that move at all. You end up at kind of a loss as to what to do, because you can't really attack him effectively at a distance. But using the, the salvo from the ship is just too cool. I even thought maybe even poison. You can. Of course you can. Don't be silly. But another salvo. At this point, if he comes in close, there's no point in moving away from him again. It's that last salvo. I mean, it's nice, but you don't need it. I look. Ooh, critical hit. Now eventually, when he gets down to a third of his health, he'll cast haste. That means you're winning the fight, but it also means he gets a lot more turns. Uh, you can't get rid of his haste by casting slow on him again. He's, he's in haste now, for a moment. So... I'll just use cheer. It might raise the damage output a little bit from off his attacks. Um, but we don't want to finish him off either. You know? Even though Waka could overkill him. Could. There's no guarantee. Sometimes he only does 1900. You know? So, now he's in close, that's fine. And I'm going to use. Yeah, so he's got 5000 health left. So I'm going to hit him again. And then we're going to. Well, okay. He had a little bit of a roar there, but that's fine. Now I'm going to bring in Orin, I'm going to finish him off with the overdrive to guarantee the overkill, because I like to guarantee things. And I'm going to use Banishing Blade because it looks coolest of the three that I have in there. So, speed on your sword, and should do about 6,000 damage. Yeah, almost 6,000. And that takes care of every. Also, the sound has disappeared. I don't know why. Really? Uh, I turned down my headphones, that's why. Never mind. I'm losing it. 
Shoot! We're losing power! Hey, I see Bavel! Linguistics and all that, you're not mine. So there you go. I mean, you get the overkill, you get 8,100 AP. Not to be sniffed at. Alright, you get some extra items and stuff. Who cares? This is a uh, this is one of the coolest cutscenes in the game. Most of the cooler cutscenes focus around the airship. You might notice. But anyway, <laughs> don't let go. You'll die. So there's Bavel. There's Seymour, who's looking well for a dead man. He's got his hair combed for once. There's Yuna in her wedding dress. This is a really slutty wedding dress too, I like it. It's got knee-high boots, mini skirt. Yeah, it's, it's really something. And a whole ton of monks just like walking really slowly. I assume they're monks. They might be priests. I don't know. I'm not any, I'm not really you lot. You know, I have got a clue over I have got a clue. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't care for weddings myself. Be boring, aren't they? Especially when you got no friends there. I mean, like, you must be thinking, geez, what a lonely wedding. She doesn't look too happy. But then she's probably being coerced by a madman who she has previously tried to kill. There's a lot of fireflies. I don't know if they're from killing every or not. I think they might be. They seem to alert Kinok to the fact that there's a problem. There's some temple machina. I don't even know if they're machina. They seem more like golems, but you know, they're they're made out of rocks. Anyway, here comes the airship. Barreling down. Now despite the fact that the airship is like completely new to these people. I mean flinch. Just open fire. So there's Maester Micah. Even his veil is blown away. This is cool. It's a bit out of character for some people. I don't know. How... Right, okay, he's a sportsman. Maybe. Maybe he could do that. But Orin does it with one arm tucked into his fucking coat. And the damn, he's on a uh, perfect balance. That's it, the airship's leaving. And now we have to fight our way to Yuna. That's right, you know. So, here we go. Now, there's one thing that makes these fights easy, and that is if you have learned Sloga. Because, you know, Titus will always go first. He's that kind of guy, he's fast. And all of these enemies are susceptible to slow. So, Sloga will slow down all three of them and make the fight much easier. Your focus. Needs to be on the flamethrower guy. That's the orange one in the middle. He's the only one who can damage your party. That flamethrower, it's not super dangerous, but it's got the potential to mess you up. Uh, I'm not going to bother bringing everyone into the fights here. The AP is negligible. These are kind of more story fights than uh, you know, random battles. But uh, I do like to steal. I'm not even stealing, I'm using an bad potion. Oh yeah, Tedious' health got low. I didn't even notice. So that's those guys. Without Yuna, the Albed Potion is the best way to heal. And even when we get Yuna back, it's going to be one of the more valuable healing methods for some time. So yeah, I mean... I'll bring a Waka in instead of uh, Lulu. And... Orin instead of Riku. And that's the party we're going to use for these fights, for the most part. Uh, okay, we got Kamari in here because he can learn something from this robot. If we lance at it. Of course, I'm going to use Sloga. 
make things a bit safer. Take that guy out. And lance it. And that gets us thrust kick, which can potentially knock an enemy clear out of the battle. You don't get any AP, but they're gone. Um, it never works, though. Ever. Like, it's just useless. It does slightly more damage than jump, slightly less damage than seed cannon. So, you know, I'm gonna try it here, and it's not gonna work. However, when they do it, it works every time. What does that tell you? Farewell. Bring an Orin for that overkill. I don't think Waka could quite manage it. But I mean, I don't have the overkill numbers off the top of my head for those guys. So, yeah. Quite a few of these fights. Um, they're never difficult. Again, I'm going to cast Sloga. Sloga is not a cheap spell to cast. As you can see, I'm all out of MP now. But, uh, I've got a load of ethers. That's not a problem. So bring in Waka. So there we go. I think that was Slayer for Waka. Didn't quite make it out, unfortunately. There, it doesn't matter. Getting, uh, getting through these guys just fine. This can actually be slightly difficult if you're uh, under level. Particularly the robots. They can do quite a lot of damage. So best I can do is cast haste on Orin this time. But that's fine. Boom, take him out. Take him out. I don't think they use thrust kick at Oh wait, there it is! Thrust kick! Gone. Just as I'm saying it, he uses it. So that's uh that's Titus out of the fight. It happens. So now Titus has no MP. And I'm gonna use an ether. Which is fine. Obviously we're getting some sphere levels here, but I'm not worried about the fact that we're not sharing them evenly. It doesn't really matter. There's so few battles. So yeah, this robot in the back here. Only Waka can hit him until the two guys at the front are dead. So, you know. Oh, you, you could use Lulu. But her spells aren't great against those things, as far as I remember. So yeah. And it fires off a blast and it can do a thousand damage to your whole party. So they're dangerous, you know. They don't have a lot of health. Compared to the kicking robots, they're weaker, which is nice. Okay, so. so. That's either the last fight or the second last fight. It was the last fight. Thank fuck. Now we've got. Six minutes cutscenes. So enjoy. No, not, not even six. This has gone far enough. We've been shot so many times already. I don't care. Let him shoot Stop. me. It's 200 damage. Alright, I give up. On your advice, Ori. <sighs> Yuna, do you have a plan? Are you going along with this? Because you're hypnotized? Oh. She was hiding her staff somewhere. Best not to ask where. I'm gonna shoot you square in the nose, boy. Ugh. <gasps> you would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Correct Dimundo, Seymour. Resolve is admirable. Don't mess with Yuna. Be my lovely wife. She is lovely. What's going on? He's sending himself. He's being sent. He's doomed. He's done. Goodbye. Do you not value your friends' lives? Oh. Mr. Micah, don't be a dick. 
it's too late. Your actions determine their fate. What the hell? Protect them. Or throw them away. The choice is yours. Yeah. Yeah. Make the choice. Yuna! Her gloves are kind of see-through. That's cool. Oh, there it goes. She dropped it. Down the stairs. Key ring spinning around, kind of mad there. Oh, Titus, you look so sad. You are wise. You are wise. You are wise, lady. He is. I have more cool cutscenes. Get some nuts. Ooh. Her heterochromia is jarring enough to be unattractive. I don't know. Not really. Whoa! CG Riku looks really veiny for some reason. Give her a smooch. Smooch. It's the most awkward looking kiss. So far in this game. Whoa, she's gonna punch him. <laughs> he sees her fist, he's like, yeah, I like that. But he doesn't, he's angry. Kill them. You lying bastard! Look at that, he's betrayed her. What are we gonna do? I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? You tell him, Orin. There are exceptions. Nothing to say. Look how gone the shake. No! Look how gone the shake. Look how shaky his hands Put are. Put down your weapons. Ugh. Let them go. Or else. Or else what, you know? <gasps> are you crazy? Don't jump, love. Don't do it. What is that? Like, how is that su supposed to be interpreted? Flap his arm. That could be kill them, or it could be let them go. But unless you talk, it's meaningless. Leave now, please. All right, bye. You're coming with us. Don't worry, go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. Dying don't mean shit. Look at you, Seymour. Well, oh, she wiped his kiss off. Don't worry. That's harsh. I can fly. Yuna must have bumped her head when she landed Please. in the desert. She's lost her marbles. Are right, we believe? Jump. Just don't drag it out any longer. I like your hair. Gosh. Rip in peace, Yuna. Yeah. I can't believe she jumped. You can see her splatter in glorious FMV. <gasps> She's transforming. No. So yeah, Yuna had a plan all along. And even Veilfor thinks she's crazy. Look at this luck he gives her. Bitch, what you doing? My god. It's a lot of pressure to put on a flying horse. Lizard thing. <laughs> it's the slowest flashbang grenade ever. That was my phone. Did you hear my phone? <laughs> there we go. I should have put that on silent, shouldn't I? What what was that? An all bed flash bomb! Let me there go. it goes again. I'm gonna kill that Seymour. Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her later. Breakthrough! Huh? Huh? Well, I just got invited to a christening with cake Where after it. That's what that text was. Yeah, what did you get invited to? Nothing. Nothing. You know anyway, now we're back to gameplay, almost. The Chamber of the Faith! Chamber of the Faith, that's where we're going. I'm rubbing my hands with anticipation. Mmm. It's going to be glorious. In about... 
It's too quiet. Thirty seconds of more talking. A trap? It's not quite enough because you won't shut up, Who Lulu. Cares? Yuna's waiting for us. No, there are no traps. Traps are unlikely. Huh? It's a machina. What's a machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. Yes. That's not what I need. The teachings. What about the teachings? Pick and choose, Waka. Hey, pick and choose. Me. Stop. First thing we do. Push the button to go down the stairs. You could backtrack to save, but there's another save point coming. There's nothing in between, so you might as well. More machina. Another machina? Jesus Man. Christ. Stop texting me. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> they treated us like dirt. The bastards. Now, Waka is losing his faith, which is interesting to note. Now, just down these steps is the next Albed primer. The entrance to the trials. Nineteen, I'm gonna I guess. Wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go. No, and wait, see. nineteen. It's uh, twenty-three. Albed primer twenty-three or twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nineteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I've played way past this and I'm recording now the voiceover and I'm way gone. Next video, guys, close to a trials.